Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at the difference between smart and feather blending and discuss their appropriateness for different situations. Firstly, I have masked an out of focus, poorly defined frond at the back of this image. Now smart blending uses the underlying edge morphology or character to separate foreground from background. This produces far more authentic and superior edges than a straight feather blend. But when there is little difference between foreground and background as an edge, such as here, the results are not so good, and the feather blending often produces better results. So you can see here, as we do the cutout on smart blending on this frond, you get very jagged results. Now, if I change the, f the blending to feather, it will be different. For a feather blend, the width of the feather is determined by the width of the blend mask and the morphology or character ignored. So therefore, in this case, the results are much smoother. For a feather blend, see here. the width of... On the other hand, if we are masking a better defined edge with lots of differentiated character, such as here on the petals of this flower, or whether it be something like skin hair or fluff on a jumper, it is better to use smart blending. In fact, I'd always suggest trying smart blending first, and if that doesn't work, move to feather blending. This flower has both in-focus and out-of-focus edges which we want to preserve. I had previously cut this out in the, in the last tutorial, and you can see how the edge morphology is perfect compared with the original. You see here along that lovely out of focus edge and then over here the contrast with the in focus edge. Now I'm going to change it to feather blending. And you can see there are some changes which make the result less authentic. There and also along the in-focus edge. Now I'm going to change it back again. And you see it's improved once more. Check out our other tutorials and consider going to our daily live training. Thanks for listening.